I had a vision that I just wanted to make an electronic bike. I'm part of this research and design kind of chapter for my group called Ideas, Intellectual Decisions for Environmental Awareness Solutions. And I wanted to make this bike available for people to use, right? We're thinking about cost effectiveness and just general maintenance, upkeep, and being able to bring this into the UCF community so people, students, can use it every day and be less carbon, be more, excuse me, more carbon neutral, as in this campus is trying to do. We're basically the, a support team. If anyone has any questions, oh, they yeah. just... We could start an awesome business here in Orlando doing this, yeah. like converting bikes. Yeah. Require very little space. You could do it like at home. My name is Simon Aslin. Um, I'm part of a team here working on the electric bike. This basically started about two months ago as a, for me at least, a new project to start for the New Year's. It was just the something to do, something to get done, something to get me motivated to do something new, something that I've never done before, and that's convert an uh, existing pedal bike to electric. So Jimmy, our manager, got us uh, a team together with um, Ryan and a few other members, and we pitched in our ideas and came up with an original drawing prototype, which I still have now. And I look back on it and I realize a lot of things I had overlooked, which with all the research I've done now, I think I've took a new perspective on how to approach problems in this scenario. Electric bikes are known to have a lot of torque, right? So we have this throttle here, right? We're gonna put it on our, our good bike, right? But when we turn on the throttle on electric bikes, actually they're, they're, they're known to have so much torque that they, they rise up and they throw the, the person off, actually. And we gotta think about that in safety design because when users, like say they ride their bikes and they, they stop, say they just wanna get over like a, a little hurdle here, they usually pull up on their handlebars, but when they pull up on their handlebars, they also pull this throttle, which then makes the bike rocket it up. And with this engine, it's 48 volts, it's a lot of capacitance, it may actually just be pretty dangerous if they, if they do that. So we, we gotta make sure that the handlebars are, are a certain way, make sure that the person knows that what they're doing. Simon works with with RC models and battery packs, so he was able to to get the electronics foundation. I had the more of an electronics approach, right? Because I'm in robotics club. I understand the components more. I wanted to build my own motor controller. I wanted to build my own battery management system, right? And work with Simon. It, it, it's actually been a quite of a good journey, just learning all this stuff. And then Jimmy has been basically our basically with us like a kind of like a manager making sure we're we have a good outside perspective and donating he's actually donating his bike here so we can put the motor onto it and hopefully test on it when he when he comes he's going to be the little crash person we wanted to do this essentially to create a larger audience for this with the performance figures that we're looking at we're hoping to get at least 20 miles of range now, if you look at just students that go attend a university here at UCF, many students don't even live 10 miles um, both, both ways going to school. And a lot of them drive, which cause a huge parking problem on our campus. If more people use electric bikes, they could commute to school from home much easier than driving a car and having to look for parking and having to spend gas, money on insurance, uh, so many aspects that you, a lot of people don't realize they have to pay when they drive a car. With an electric bike, you don't even need a driver's license. You, it costs less than a cent per mile to use it. The beginning cost is less than $500 to convert your bike to electric. And if you do the math, that would pay for itself extremely quickly if you actually used it. So what we're trying to do is basically gain exposure with our electric bike. 
especially to our students on campus who could actually really use it. With the rising gas prices, it's just getting less and less feasible to drive 20 miles a day. That it ends up, you consider the price of gas, which is just about $4 a gallon now, but then you had to consider the price of insurance, the price of, of registration for your car, maintenance, tires, oil changes, so expensive. With an electric bike, there's practically no parts that can wear out, which makes it really perfect for a student or a short commute, basically less than 20 miles.